As a CES first timer this year, I couldn't help but feel a sense of deja vu as I wandered through the exhibit halls looking at gadgets that at some point I'd already seen on my TV. Hey guys, it's Vanessa Handariana from CNET Español in for Donald Bell, who apparently collapsed after CES. And this week, we're taking a look at the top five TV shows and movies that best predicted the tech trends of CES 2014. Coming in at number five, we have Minority Report. This futuristic thriller came out more than 10 years ago and wowed us with touchless gesture controlling. Who can forget the scene where Tom Cruise swipes through screens of information as an agent who's been accused of a crime he hasn't yet committed. And while we can't yet catch a criminal before he strikes, touchless controlling is now a reality. At CES, we saw elliptic labs using ultrasound technology to click through a Windows 8 display on a laptop, and they weren't the only ones. At number four, the name's Bond, James Bond. In the franchise, 007 is always debuting the latest technology thanks to Quartermaster Q, the king of gadgets himself. In 1997, Pierce Brosnan gets a phone with a fingerprint scanner and a touchpad to control his BMW. And while the brick of a phone seems outdated now and the movie was subpar, the actual technology was spot on. Last year we saw Touch ID debuting on our smartphones, and at CES this year we saw a driverless Audi and a Range Rover fit into tight parking spots with the touch of a phone app. And coming in at number three, Star Trek. Remember the scene where Captain Jean-Luc Picard materializes a cup of tea on a replicator? With the surge of consumer 3D printers, you can now buy your very own replicator that prints everything but the Earl Grey. MakerBot showed off their Replicator Mini at CES this year for less than $1,500 or the next model up for around three grand. Second on our list is a movie that 80s kids like myself will remember fondly, Back to the Future 2. In the sequel, the DeLorean is added again, taking Marty and the Doc 30 years into the future, the year 2015. Now, I don't have a time machine, but I'm pretty sure I can tell you what 2015 looks like. Remember the McFly family dinner table? The kids decked out in wearable tech, answering calls with their glasses. Now, compared to the Google Glass, these things look chunky and dated, but they do have a slight resemblance to the Oculus Rift, the virtual reality gaming headset making waves at CES. The movie also predicted flat screen smart TVs and video chat. But in all seriousness, where in Great Scott is my hoverboard? And ringing in at number one, The Jetsons. The show was a novelty in 1962 when it first came out as the first program ever to be broadcast in color. The Jetsons were your typical family of 2062 with their trusty maid Rosie. Now, we don't have a robot with an apron doing our chores yet, but we do have video chat, robotic vacuums, and smart appliances that can be controlled remotely with our phones. Samsung and LG were a few of many to show off these connected homes of the future at CES. And there you have them, the five futuristic flicks that first imagined the technology we actually saw at CES. There are a lot more that didn't make it on this list, so tweet me with your favorite or post comments below. And don't forget to check out all our coverage from CES and more top fives at cnet.com slash top five. For CNET, I'm Vanessa Handoriana.